Okay, you guys, so today I wanna to share with you some self-care tips that are really gonna help us glow up this summer. It is almost summertime. These are some of the things that I've been doing recently that have really been helping me feel good from the inside out. And so I definitely feel like this is part of self-love. This is gonna be nurturing your feminine energy and just helping you to take care of yourself and show yourself that you're important, that you matter. And you guys know that I love holistic health. I love natural beauty products. I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite ones and just what I'm gonna be doing this summer to feel my best. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sasha, also known as Healing Honey. And on this channel, I love talking about beauty, wellness, spiritual things, self-love, things like that. I live in Phoenix right now and it gets so hot. Right now we're at 100 degrees. Tomorrow is May 1st and it's gonna stay super hot for the next six months. And so like my first thing, no matter where you live, for self-care, but especially in summer, is hydration. So you want to be consuming so much water and the type of water that you consume is super important. It really blows my mind that some people are still consuming tap water. It's not what you wanna be putting in your body, okay? So definitely go for something like spring water, something like alkaline water, put a filter, on your faucet, whether you're in the shower or you're even cleaning your dishes. I know they can be expensive, but they're worth the investment because we cannot, I saw this video recently about tap water. I'll put it here, you know, and it's just, you do not want to consume it and put it in your body. And you know, our skin is the lar largest organ on our body. And so when you're in the shower, if you're taking in all those chemicals too, and just, it can get really yucky. So. Hydrate yourself with alkaline water or spring water or purified water at the very least. Be mindful of the type of water. Drop me a comment, let me know what kind of water do you consume? And you know, back at home in California, some of my own family members will be like, well, what's wrong with tap water? Do some research, educate yourself on these things because you do not wanna drink tap water. Once you start drinking alkaline water, you can taste the difference. Water is essential to self-care and to health and wellness. You know, this summer, I've really been realizing that it helps me to cleanse my energy. So if I've been out in traffic for a long time, if I've been out working or just going from place to place, if I've been around a lot of people, that's a lot of different energies mixing. And if you're an empath, if you're sensitive energetically, what's really been helping me is to come home and take a shower, cleansing my energy, cleansing my aura. Water is amazing for this, and I promise you it works. Swimming, one of my favorite things to do. Your water will be your best friend this summer, and instead of reaching for the lemonade, instead of reaching for the coffee, anything with too much sugar, reach for water and I love adding things like lemon I feel like it just tastes better and if you have frozen fruit you can add that to it delicious I eat raw I, in summer especially so like just raw fruits I love putting like my watermelon in the fridge first and then cutting it open to eat it it tastes so much better that way to me cold apples cold oranges like fruit kind of hits differently when it's been chilled and so if you want to do like frozen fruit and make smoothies if you want to eat just fresh fruit but fruit and hydration will be your best friends you know we're gonna get so sweaty in summer like that's just what it is especially if you are you know doing some type of exercise routine if you're getting out there in the sun just moving around taking a walk a run you know we should be moving our body and sweating is so incredibly healthy for us it's our natural detox system most people are out here using deodorant you know and we've been marketed deodorant deodorant our whole lives <laughs> everyone wants to smell good your armpits they sweat you're sweating out your toxins you're sweating out the gunk from your body and it's a healthy natural thing this is how we were designed when you put deodorant under your arms you are literally pushing those toxins back into your body and we don't want to do that and you guys i I've tried a lot of natural deodorants on the market and a lot of times they do absolutely nothing. Sometimes I'll put some coconut oil down there, but it's kind of the same vibe where oil is blocking. So you don't want to put something that's gonna block the sweat from coming out because then you're essentially pushing it, the toxins back in, putting them like a barrier 
And so I just don't think it's healthy. And personally, I do not wear deodorant anymore, but I still wanna smell good. And so one thing that I do is I use lime and I use lemon under my arms, you know? And so I've talked about this before. I first heard it from this girl online, but um, it's so good. And you know what? Lemon cleanses off any bacteria. You just wanna make sure that you don't shave first, okay? So be mindful of that. But it cleanses any bacteria and it smells good like it's fresh under there so use like a natural citrusy fruit i mean leave it under there for like 15 minutes and then rinse it off you are gonna sweat and there may be a slight scent but just clean yourself you know but to each their own i do not recommend deodorant at all like they put so many chemicals use products that we know what it is and so that's why like i've been using this hello brand naturally friendly it's vegan and no artificial sweeteners, like no sulfates, parabens. I would say go for a natural toothpaste. And you know, I thought to do this video once I got out of the shower today and I was really taking my time to get ready and stuff. And I thought like, let me just share this with you guys. So if you're in Walmart and shop there, like I know I do, okay? Cause I have a six year old daughter. So we're in there looking for our products for the month or the week or whatever. So I came across this one, right? But if I turn it around and read what's on the back of it, there's all these huge chemicals, seed oil, and it's basically water with chemicals. So instead of reaching for that, like I just shaved my legs, right? I came out and I was gonna put lotion on. I turned around to read it, to read it and I thought, how am I gonna put this on my body? Well, like we're alive and so self-care means caring about the products that we use. So instead, what I recommend you guys is this natural coconut oil. It's organic, it's raw, unfiltered. The only ingredient is coconut oil. I have told you guys that I have been consciously releasing fat from my body, lose weight, because I've realized that the healing journey, it very much starts in the inner, right? And so you are healing the inside of yourself and you're coming to terms with your, you're facing yourself, getting to know yourself and seeing all the parts of yourself. and then it transforms into the outer. So where I'm at in my journey right now is losing weight and releasing, getting to the reasons why I even had so much weight on my body, release it, okay? And so one of the things that is really, that I plan to intimate, to implement in my self-care routine this summer to glow up is fasting, okay? And so I know that, um, I'm not telling you guys what to do here. Okay, I'm just sharing the things that I'm doing and that have helped me and that are helping me. And so intermittent fasting is basically not eating until like 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. and cutting it off by like 7 p.m. So giving your body a break from breaking down foods. And if it needs that energy, it's just using the stored energy, which is fat, you know? And so I've been learning about not just intermittent fasting, but fasting every other day for the full day. And you can see it as a spiritual thing. I promise you, for me, I am not worried because my body has enough sustenance, okay? There's enough meat on my bones that it needs to, that it can live off of. And staying hydrated, having even a cup of coffee or tea, but just not breaking it with sugar or any type of solid food. And then like, if I just cannot survive, then by dinner, maybe having a soup or something really light, half a watermelon or some grapes or a cucumber, slices, carrots. Like if you're actually hungry, you can eat something healthy. You know you're not hungry and you're just feeling snacky when you're reaching for the Cheez-Its and the chips and cookies and things like that. And so fasting is going to be part of my self-care routine to glow up this summer, release fat, <laughs> burn fat. And when I'm, it's like a very raw experience. You get in tune with the deepest parts of yourself. So I see it as a spiritual thing. You can pray during your fast. You can purge. You can set an intention. I feel like that's important. Get to know yourself, get to know your body and feel in tune with it. I know for me, I've struggled a lot with emotional eating. So if I'm feeling emotionally crazy, I just reach for food to soothe myself. And that's not healthy, you guys. And so fasting for me is going to help me physically to look 
more slender and to be healthier, but it's also going to help me to break bad habits in my life. So, okay, so another self-care tip to glow up this summer would be to limit your caffeine. You guys, I love coffee. I normally have one cup a day, but I gave myself a break of like a week and I was into my iced matcha way more. I love matcha with oat milk. It is super delicious if you've never tried it. But taking a coffee break was so helpful for me because when I went back to have a cup, I really felt the caffeine. And so if you can limit your caffeine, this is a way to glow up this summer. Limit your caffeine. See, coffee is like a treat instead of an essential. Your body will become more sensitive to it. And then when you do actually enjoy a cup, you're going to feel the benefits of it right away. And so how do you guys take your coffee? Do you drink coffee? Do you like it iced or warm? Me, I've, I'm done with coffee creamer and I never thought I'd say that. These days, it's just some oat milk and real brown sugar. That's how I like it. But I've also noticed that coffee can make you so jittery. So if you suffer from any type of anxiety, I mean, coffee is just not gonna help you. You know, and it's one of those things that's always marketed to us and as an American, you just feel like it's just part of life. You know, some people drink more than one cup a day and all the time. And like, I know you can get like a venti. So it can become like an addiction and also just make you feel so jittery. So I know for me, I'm seeking to just be on a calm, peaceful wave. And coffee is going to contradict that. Coffee is going to take me out of that Zen mode. And so if I'm wanting something, I'm craving something like to soothe me, instead of reaching for coffee, I'll reach for like lavender, chamomile tea or hot water with lemon. But since we're moving into summer, I know something probably more refreshing, like passion fruit tea, and then like make it, and then make it iced, or green tea has less caffeine, or matcha, like I mentioned. It starts as like a powder, so super good, but too much coffee is just not good for us, like honestly, and I hate to say it, but it's true. Drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts on it. But what I will say about it, you guys, if you are sober, if you do not drink alcohol or you quit weed, kudos to you, or you're quitting, let's say you're wanting to just have a more sober lifestyle. So for me, now that I am sober, when I do have coffee, it's like a little turn up. Like I, tell, I told you guys, I didn't drink it for like a week or something. And earlier today, I, I make myself drink water as soon as I rise and depending on how I'm feeling, lemon water, right? And so today I'm like, let me enjoy coffee. It's been a while. Now I see it as a treat. I put my oat milk, my brown sugar in it and I had it. And you guys, after like three sips, I was so giddy. I was acting just like my six-year-old. And so if you're living like a sober lifestyle, see coffee as your little turn up. You're going out with your friends. If they want to have some drinks, have yourself an iced coffee. Or you're going to go here, go there, go to a concert. Iced coffee is now like my turn up. So it has caffeine and it's effective when you don't consume it too often. Just find some balance with it. That's my suggestion with love. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on here. So I just have so much things to tell you guys. So many things to say. <laughs> but another self-care another self -care tip for this summer to glow up, something that's been making such, an, such a difference with my sleep is unplugging my Wi-Fi before I go to bed. And I get like so much of a better sleep if I do not have my Wi-Fi plugged in. You know, something to do with the waves, what it's emitting affects us because we're energetic beings even if your neighbors have it plugged in or 5g towers whatever else is out here do yourself a favor and unplug it i i've seen it in some homes and even in my old place where the router is right by your head like at, at your nightstand that is so not conducive to a peaceful night's sleep in my experience. And so I would suggest, it's something I've been doing recently. And I thought like, is it just in my head? But after like three times, it's been confirmed that I just feel 
so much better so yeah it's a little bit of a hassle you have to wait for it to like reload in the a.m or whatever but it also helps me to stay off the internet as soon as i get up because realistically i think like if you were i was born in the late 80s you guys so if you're a 90s kid like we were like the last generation that got to experience life without the internet and without being glued to a cell phone and it's such a blessing and so when i unplug my wi-fi i get a peaceful night's rest i feel it in my body energetically calmer better and it helps me not to just jump on a phone as soon as i get up because there's other things i need to do i need to say thank you to god for a new day i need to hydrate i need to use the restroom you know hygiene stuff and then like see what am i doing stretch maybe exercise walk it prolongs that reach for the phone you know because another right in line with this is not sleeping with our phone on once again, growing up in a generation where you had to call somebody's house phone or page them, use pay phones, it sounds like so long ago, it wasn't that long ago. So this idea that, oh, someone won't be able to reach me. Okay, who needs to reach you at 2 a.m., 3 a.m.? But it just grounds me peace of mind to not sleep with the phone on, to unplug the Wi-Fi, and to prioritize regular real life like the sun on my face and stretching and seeing how I'm feeling inside before I tune in with what the rest of the world has going on. <laughs> okay guys, so these are our self-care tips and tips that I use for self-love and to really just nurture myself, feel good. So the last thing that I wanna share with you guys today is setting aside one day a week as a self-care day. I know that this might seem impossible but if there is a will there is a way and for me depending on my cycle because as women if you are a woman watching this i'm going to link my feminine energy we're connected to the moon video you know and a few other videos because as women especially we are on different cycles if you're feeling tired if you're feeling like you need a rest if your period is coming like give yourself a self-care day and do not feel guilty about it understand and know that rest is productivity because i know that in this masculine driven society there's nothing wrong with masculine energy but we're missing a balance which is the feminine energy and so when we talk about our feminine energy this includes going within the darkness tending to your inner world resting and secluding like the high priestess you know in tarot or the hermit card like going inward and just resting and it's like such a proclamation in today's day and age because it's such a revolutionary thing rest because we're in a hustle culture and so it's like rebellious to rest you know which is sad but especially as women in our bodies being in tune with our needs you need a rest day and that's what i've been doing and especially if you're an entrepreneur if you're a mother you're a parent you work a nine to five whatever you have going on i feel like it really helps me especially if you're if you're an empath to give myself a day consciously with intention to rest and tune out the rest of the world. Do the things that make me happy. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It doesn't matter if people think you're lazy or they wanna judge you. If they're doing that, they most likely need a rest day themselves. And so take a self-care day. For me, that looks like a pedicure, that looks like doing my nails, that looks like taking a bath or not doing too much work, you know? Like I'll, because our minds are constantly trying to problem solve. So I'll be like, I need to do this and that and this and well, I can clean out my refrigerator. What about laundry? Did I help my daughter with this project? Maybe I should do this and that. I'm gonna change my hair. I'm gonna, and it's like, go, go, go. I haven't called this friend in a while or if you're in a relationship or it can go on and on if we let it. And so that's why it's crucial and, and important for our mental health, emotional health to allow ourselves say it's okay to take a break just one day for you tend to yourself rest sleep take naps indulge yourself it doesn't mean that you do that every single day for the rest of your life it means that you're rejuvenating you're refreshing yourself and you're taking care of yourself because you matter okay so let me know your thoughts on this video you guys that's everything i have for you today drop me a comment let me hear, know your thoughts i'm sending you so much love and so much healing and so much power into your life take care of yourself and let me know what is your 
favorite thing that you're gonna do for yourself this summer to glow up for self-care and for self-love. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. A lot of things I wanna say to you.